Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Create. Thank you for inviting me. Um, yes. Uh, I'm going to ask you to um, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the, the amazing art that you do for everybody who doesn't know about your incredible stuff. Um, well, my name is Teddy Kelly, as you mentioned it. Um, I'm from Mazatlan, Mexico. I've been in the States for more than half of my life. Um, born in the States, raised in Mexico, Mazatlan. It's a, it's a port on uh, mainland Mexico, which is a really nice, beautiful place. Um, and it's very, uh, you know, American influence, I guess, because we are all the tourism is, is what we, uh, we do for most of the, um, uh, as, as, as a job when you're down there is the, the main economy, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and I came to the States, obviously um, looking to, you know, for study, for, you know, for schools, for to go to university and all that. And, and, then, and I always painted and draw because, you know, I surf and skate. So that counterculture and, and, and subculture um, was always, um, a big factor in what I do. Um, so I wanted to come to the States because I had the access to, you know, my, my grandparents and my, my parents. And we used to have a place in the States and, and we used to come every summer. And so that was, that was a, a big thing on, on, on me growing up. And um, I went and explored and researched and went to school. And I wasn't really good at school, but then I found, I found my way through um, finding information and, and things that I could learn or, or, or ways, ways to learn to get me to what I wanted to be. Um, so I started, like I mentioned, uh, you know, doing skateboard graphics, designs and, and clothing and all that was already in the mix. So my, my, my initial art was more character driven, more funky, more, more, you know, like skate, like graphics, like my friend back here. Um, and, uh, it was more, more risky, more, more, you know, more, more fun, I guess. And as the time went and as I, I grew up and as I, you know, I, uh, evolved through the, through the time and, um, I started kind of narrowing down what I really wanted and, and my, my character and, and who I really was. Right. So I, I, um, I'm a big fan of, uh, of the Bauhaus movement. And, and that's something that is super uh, clean and, and, and tight, I guess, and, and very fun at the same time. Kandinsky has its, you know, funky stuff. And, and also they, they, it, was a, it was a movement that had a lot of furniture design and a lot of like graphic design. So there was a bunch of different artists and teachers from that era and, and, and that uh, 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 institution that were... Uh, a big influence in, in what I do now, since I study a lot of the classes I did were his, our art history. When I run in through the Bauhaus, I was just completely drawn and fall in love with it. So I've been, I've been just letting go and, and, and letting uh, those, those, uh, those things influence me organically and, and actually creating my own from what I was inspired. So basically that's, that's basically what my art is today and what it will be eventually as I transcend. I'm, I'm getting older, so I don't know how much it's gonna <laughs> change. <laughs> um, people probably know you uh, most likely for your mural work, work, right? Like you're mostly a muralist, yeah. muralist. But you also do other things. I know that you do prints. I know that you just told me that you are creating uh, your own brand of beer. Uh, you're looking into uh, also wineries and stuff like that. Is that, do you want to be defined by one thing or do you feel like you want to have your creativity? No, I mean, the, the murals are something that I have been, I've been lucky and, and, and blessed to per se. I don't believe in luck, but more uh, blessings because that's what I really love to do. I like to be out there and do and put my art in, in, in big scale, which is a challenge. And now it's more like a, a meditation in a way, you know, because you're out there by yourself. And I most of the time, even though I do big pieces, I paint by myself. So um, the other stuff is, is, is part of my designer background. You know, it's, it's, I do a lot of collaborations, we, which I lay out myself. And nowadays, a lot of the artists do. Uh, there's some that don't. But to yeah. me, since the beginning, I've always been that uh, 
versatile, you know, where I can design clothing, I can design everything that I like. So I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a stereotypical artist. I, I'm, I do a lot of different things that, that yeah. have to do with design. And, and some, one day when I was in, in, in college, this art, uh, um, this uh, art t-shirt, which who is my friend now, um, since then, he told me, he's like, if you utilize design, you know, in your art that you already have, um, you, you're going to do good, you know, cool things. You, you're going you're gonna, to um, have success. So I, I, I really took that serious. And, and, and that's why I do a lot of collaborations because it's, it's within my DNA. I love to put things together. And I feel like when you do collaborations with other uh, people and other um, mediums or, or, or objects or, or skateboards or whatever, it's, it's, um, it's good for you. You get out of your comfort zone. You create other things that, that might, might make your art look better you know, and, and, and it's just interesting in general. It's, just, it's cool to have different options and different things. So I do a lot of different things for the same reason. Your art is very um, structured, very linear, very kind of like, it's almost like you're saying, it's kind of like a designer background, but is it also like, are you coming from sort of, sort of like an architectural perspective or are you completely self-taught? Most definitely, I'm completely self, self-taught. Wow. The things that ha- that I learned, uh, you know, I, I went to some classes. I was, I, I, again, I wasn't really the school guy, you know, the school kid. I went there and, and I, only, I was only paying attention to the stuff that I really liked, you know, but it wasn't enough. I, I didn't have enough school to, to, to say that I, I learned at school and I did it, you know, because even, even when I was in school, I, I got, uh, the teachers felt me because I, I didn't end up like at the end of the day, um, I didn't finish the course, you know, the class. And they're like, I don't care how good you are. You know, I was kind of that guy and I wasn't a bad person. It was just that that's just my nature, you know? So yeah, it is a structure. I think that's like, again, it's just, it's part of my nature. Like the whole um, design, even, even the house, you know, it's like very like modern, um, all the things that I'm doing, the new projects I'm creating, or I'm, I will be creating soon that they're in the works, they're all modern and, and, and very, very specific to that current, you know, to that, that direction of art and, and, and space, you know. So I like all that. So if I was just doing one thing, I will be bored as hell. I cannot be just painting. But yeah, th- my, my art on the walls and my art on the design and those collaborations is a direct influence of all that. It's just another way to, to put it out there. And it's what, um, how I make a living, you know. Um, those other collaborations is also part of that, but you don't do them every day as much as you do the murals, for example. So I, I basically um, found my niche in the mural world, and I took that, and I was smart enough to, to, to be aware of what, what, what was going on and how could I improve and, and evolve and grow into it and, and i and i just and that's what i do you know and you've been doing that for quite a while i, I mean i've been seeing your stuff uh for a, a long time now and the one thing i like the most is like you use very vibrant colors which is very la- it feels like very kind of like Latin. you know <laughs> west coast inspired this yeah. whole like you know this uh, passion behind what you do yeah i guess so when i was in 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 the clothing business I was using a lot, you know, I was doing a lot of designs and different things and t-shirts that were different colors. And, and it's funny, it's just weird. I don't know if it's, it's, it's a funny thing or a weird thing that a lot of the designers and, and artists, they use black as I'm using right now. Um, not, a lot, not a lot of graphics and stuff. You get burned out. Yeah. And sometimes when I design stuff for clothing companies, I never use the stuff I design. I was just like, mm-hmm. I was just not, because I don't know, you maybe you're so... You spend so much time developing it, and sometimes you don't even develop for yourself. My art is for my soul. You know, it's for me. It's for my soul. But that doesn't that doesn't necessarily means that I like to wear it. There's some artists that are like wearing their shit. I don't. Um, but what I when I look at my art, when I'm creating my art, it, it it just gets me peace. You know, and 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 I have this like you know ADD thing about composition and and like make it work for the for the eye and and as i study because i'm currently studying uh this uh post-war modern art uh program uh, just for the theory of it i found a lot of things that um 
actually confirm what I'm what I feel you know that other people talk about other artists from those times from that era and 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 it's and it's I mean that's that's really true what I'm doing it there's a reason why I do what I do and I don't really wear the stuff the the colors I use people are like why do you use pink and, and at the beginning when I was using that I never hesitated on the fact that people could say, oh, that's very girly or very gay or whatever. I didn't, get, I didn't care. I was just like, this is really cool. I love colors, yeah. And, and, and the reaction of people and guys and girls, it was just like, oh, that's great, that's crazy, you know? So I was like, well, I guess I'm right, you know? Like, it's not, it has nothing to do with sex. Yeah. It's, it, it's, uh, it's, it's about um, the actual- Expressing yourself. And representation yeah. of what you're trying to say. You know? Yeah. Do you um has this quarantine affected your creativity in any way or your life in any way where you feel like you have extra time to dedicate yourself to certain things or is it just another day in the life of? I don't know if it affected in a bad way, but definitely there's more time, a little bit more time to think about things. But in the process of creating, speaking for myself. When I'm going to create, I get very moody and I take some, it's, I feel like I always say it's a, a type of depression that I get before I'm creating. And I start, I think a lot of things and I might be working in other projects that are not specifically to just art of my art, like the murals, but I'm doing other designs because I do also a lot of consulting in art direction for other people, uh, freelance, obviously like projects, right? And, and I, use, I still do those. Those are more automatic. That I, already, I enjoy doing that too. But when it comes to my art, um, right now with all this time, I, I think it, it's going to benefit me on the long run. Um, it's, it's unfortunate what's going on. Obviously, I don't, this, you know, this, you know uh, how do you say this? Um, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I don't want people to be dying and, and, and suffering and going through financial problems and all that stuff. That's something that I can't do anything about. So the only thing I can think right now is to be safe and to use that that time to to channel the, those the, that depression or, or I call it depression. It's not really depression, but the, that time that I spend before I create something and I'm thinking and I'm I'm solving the problems in my head. And sometimes I sit down and sketch, and sometimes I'm on the computer and yeah. And so. It does, I guess it does affect you, but it also benefits you. I, I feel like I, it could be both of, both of those things. So what are you brewing up right now? Do you have a specific project that you're working on or is it, is, are you still just simmering on it? No, I, I'm, I'm currently working actually before this, like we, I mean, oh, I we didn't expect this to happen. So I was always, work, I'm always working. I have to work. This is what I make for, you know, how I make a living. So yeah. uh, there's three murals that are coming up. Um, there's two festivals there are uh one it's confirmed the other one is, is a possible um gig and uh so those are are almost ready to go but with this we're just on a hold right now and actually tomorrow i have to be at noon uh talking to one of the agencies in costa mesa so um that's that's in the works we're working on on concepts and and you know we have more time now so we're going back and forward a little more talking it's just taking is we're taking our time i guess now um i have new prints coming up i'm gonna have hopefully my website redone not redone the website but the new prints by the end of the month yeah uh, we're gonna be releasing new prints um the bottles from um um, so I'll, I'll start showing you things that I that I that I'd I'm working on, yes, and things that I've worked. So so we can kind of like uh, see yes, more. walk us through your 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 wonderful work. Yes, and also I have a couple personal projects, including the beer, the craft beer, and and the, it's a the, we have a speakeasy on the works. We are going through some legal um, situation that where we have to define how everything's going to end up. Where is the speakeasy? It's in Ensenada, in Mexico. So, so for those people that don't know, and Ensenada is a big wine country. Like there's a there's a valley next to it, like minutes away, and and it's it's great. I feel like in Mexico it's probably, if not the most important, one of the most important places because I don't think they do wine there elsewhere, and and it's just amazing. I fall in love with the place. Uh, we're doing things in the city within the city as well, and I'm also. Um, you know, doing this other vodka thing, you know, alcohol related. 
Um, you have to be over 18 to consume, but um, it's, it's really cool. To admire the work on the bottle. I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll start with the vodka. Yes. So this is a, a brand from the States that is very um, uh, art driven. It's called- Oh my God, this is so you. Trust me, vodka. So yeah, it's the art inside, it's my art. And this one, if you can read inside, I don't know if you can look in there, it says love. And I'm gonna maybe shift it a little bit so you can see. Yes. I so I'm gonna show you, I have a flyer here. Um, so it's, this is what's inside. Oh my God, it's incredible. Yeah. So that's love. We did one with love because, you know, also we were thinking that um, a lot of my art is it's um, uh, mantra. You know, I, I use a lot of mantras on my art because I love that the the when you when you pronounce and when you say things it's, not, it's when you say you know f you you know it's it's a bad thing and you create that bad vibe when you say i love you is the same thing so i i, I want to use those mantras and those energies to uh to, you know add to my art and then promote positive you know. gorgeous and this is one says, or is it not not oh wow i got two and this is it is this is uh the one that says unity Oh my God. Is it the same vodka or are they flavored? Same. No, it's the same vodka. Same vodka, just two yeah, different labels. Organic, yeah, organic vodka. This is uh, this is the one with Unity. So uh, yeah. the idea with this was like, okay, let's create this, uh, make a couple murals, promote. Um, and, you know, just this company is, like I said, is very art driven. The, 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 one of the first artists, which I'm a really, I'm a long time fan of, uh, uh, his, his name is Jeff Soto. So I, I saw all these artists in my other friend, James, James Hunt is in there. And uh, uh, one of the, my other friend that, that's, you know, we do a lot of work together, um, Justin Gilkman, he's involved in that. And he's the one that brought me to this project. So we- uh, oh, fun. I love yeah. it. Yeah, so- Is it available for purchase yet? Yeah, yeah. You can go to Rob's, you can go to uh, uh, Pavilions. I don't know where else, it's, they sell it through the, through California, in the States, in other places. Uh, there's do, a they, it, do, do, do you do that with different, um, or you only do that with this type of vodka? You only, you only, you only do that with this, with this brand, right? Yeah, so far we only done with it. I think if it's a vodka, it would be just them, because I, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, think uh, I would be doing another vodka, you know, it's just not yeah, 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 of course. A, a good look. Uh, um, also, we are, are um, part of this program in there, which, you know, we have all the artists, they support us. We have a little bit um, uh, of stake in there. So it's kind of cool. You become part of this. You become a, an yes. ambassador and, and, and you're part, of, you're embedded in the brand yes. in many different ways. So it's, it's really cool to promote, co-promote yes. um, and, and, and be part of something that it really connects with the artist for example to me i don't know about what about the other artists that have done it but with you know mitchell which is one of the owners i i talked to him and he, he's i look at him and he's basically uh, me but you know doing other things it's like he's also an entrepreneur i'm an entrepreneur his rap background is very similar so i connected with him immediately I love and that to me was important because then I can, I can re what I do, he really understands. Yeah. That's important for artists to know when, when you're working in projects. A lot of people, you know, we, sometimes we get paydays and, and things like that, but it's not, at the end of the day, to create, it's not as important to, to uh, I mean, the money is always, you know, something that is gonna be there. It's, 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 yeah. it's the exchange factor. You, you yeah. give something, you take something, right? right. But, yeah. but, but developing the project so it can transcend Yes. You need to have that type of energy, yes. and that's important to me. I'm going to show you. You also have to believe in the people, not just the product. Totally, totally. I wouldn't. I, it's, I mean, you. This is not. I mean, it's not like just easy. Yeah. It's like oh, boom, it's done. You, you have to work. You have to promote. You have to be there. You have to relate to the people. You have to. You have to. You know, have similar uh, ways of thinking. So, um, yeah. because of that, it becomes a family in a way. So, um, this is uh, all the artists. That, uh, oh, cool. They work with different artists, not just yeah. no, 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 no. The, they, designs. Oh my God, they've done very oh, cool people. I mean, I'm a fan of a lot of them, and and, yeah. and and honestly, that I knew before, and some that I didn't, mm -hmm. and that I know now, and I'm just beautiful. I'm really stoked. This is James, my friend James. Beautiful. Um, 
girls. I love it. So the yeah. brand is called Trust Me? Trust Me Vodka. It's called Trust Me Vodka. That's great. So this is a, a year long um, of, you know, events and, and, and activations and things. Uh, I also had the chance to, to paint the helicopter. No um, way. Yeah, so they, they also. For the vodka? For the, for the brand? For the brand, yeah, they own it. So there's there's a helicopter that is. I, I I might be able to send you some photos. There's actually some in my in my Instagram. When you paint a helicopter, do you actually spray paint it, or do you have one of those uh, like you print it on the what do you call that those sticky paper? What do you call that? Uh, a wrap, you mean? Yes. Yeah, yes. you, you sometimes you can do that. We, we actually, I, I've done cars that have wraps on it, but then you paint on them. Yeah, and it's, you can see there's a, a Toyota car that I did there uh, for for another campaign. We did we did a little um, online commercial, and and they wrap it white. So you mm. so could you do that so you don't you don't mess up the yeah. actual paint. Right. You know? But this this helicopter is it's been wrapped I think three times before and painted by the artist. So, you know, you, as the project goes and they change artists, they change graphics and they promote you um, through, the, through yeah. the time. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Like I said, I really love the colors that you pick because you can tell that's it's so, so it's such a Teddy Kelly kind of like design. I love yeah. it. You can, you can tell. So, like I was telling you, then we also have, I'm also working in this, in the, pro, in the beer project, which is Punta Punta. Mm -hmm. And this is a um, Hazy IPA. So we did, I did, I took basically the solid colors out. I, I made some, made some outlines and uh, I, I basically made four flavors and, and these are the four flavors. Oh my God. I love it. Yeah. Beautiful. So what do you have? An IPA, you have a blonde and amber and what, a light? So hazy IPA, IPA, uh, this is a uh, lager. Okay. And the stout. I love it. So we have that, and that's one of the projects I'm working on. Which we haven't, we, we, we already sell, but it's only local. Mm -hmm. um, we have, like I said, there's, there's, we're still on, on legals and, and things like that that we're, that we're kind of like, you know, yeah. kind of finalizing and, and things change. So we have, we have to, mm -hmm. you know, change the contract and all that. And that's one of the things. It's a pretty cool project. I love beer. And it's gonna also be implemented to all the other things, which is the speakeasy. The speakeasy is pretty cool because they don't have a lot of the, those things here. And I, I, I painted this huge mural, which is uh, this art that I'm gonna be signing later. But this is one of the pieces we did. This is beautiful. Well, I, I designed this in a different style because i didn't want my you know the speakeasy have all over teddy all over you know i want to i want i want to design different things and that's the, the, the mural that's outside the speakeasy with the eyes no that, that's actually inside oh it, my god i love it's very, it like the, the the light is it's all dim and it's dark and it's what? really cool everything is like it's black tile subway tile uh we i designed and custom made the lamps all it's glass, blown glass that we made in Guadalajara. Uh, and my uncle's, um, well, he has a blown uh, glass blown factory. And uh, so, so that's when- Is it officially open or it has yet- No, 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 we, it was, we were about to get all these things ready and then this thing mm -hmm. happened. So we just like stuck right now, but it's, it's, it's almost done. That thing, that place is only, it's, you know, a few, a few weeks away from being completely built. And then you have uh, to invite me to the grand opening. Yes, yes, for sure. My favorite thing. And, and, and the other project too, the valley, and, and uh, we have to invite Fernanda too. I, I haven't yes. seen it in a while. One hundred percent. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. And uh, so that's one of the ongoing projects. I'm also trying to build this um, boutique hotel at the valley, and uh, it that's that's a not we already designed. We have the concepts, we have the land, we just need to get in there and start building them. That's another project. The, the interior of each, it's gonna be higher end containers. Um, these containers will be a little more detailed and done than, than the regular stuff that you see around. Because I, I, I really want them to be high end. And uh, each 
container inside is going to have a theme. So I'm going to design every single piece of art inside, the details in the floors, the, the kitchen, the, I mean, no kitchen, the bathrooms um, and things like that. So that's another thing that is coming. So it's like another ongoing project that they has to do everything with art, but I'm not actually painting all the time, yeah. right? This yeah. is the interiors of that, of that speakeasy. Oh, wow. That's so fucking cool. Gorgeous. See. Yeah. And then the, 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 I the, love the black the, tile. So pretty. Yeah. So that's, awesome. that's, uh, that's another thing. And then we did recently, uh, I'll show you this. We have done this collaboration, this collaboration, um, with, um, Fora Studio, which is, I'll show you that. I love it. I love it. Yes. So this is so you have your own um, dishware. Dishware. Yeah. Beautiful. They all wow, have that's dishware. gorgeous. And then we have so the plate. People can purchase this online? Yeah, they were able to purchase it online. I think you still can. I don't know how many they have left. Is it a limited series? Yes, it's yeah. a limited series. Yeah, awesome. It's pretty cool. I wish you could see it. Like, yeah. Gorgeous. It's pretty cool. And uh, so. So you're super busy. You don't need a quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that was, that was uh, something that we did uh, at the end of last year. And then uh, what else? Okay, so this is, I'll show you another thing we've done. This is, uh, uh, we did uh, a mural for Google that I'm not ready to show it because I don't have it. I wasn't ready, I forgot about it. They didn't let me post it because it was, um, it's private, it's for, you know, it's inside their offices. So it's like, it was, a, we signed an NDA, you can't show anything, it's kind of private collection. But I made this, the, the pattern behind is, is actually the mural that it, they have there. And then I did this kind of funny, uh, the, the place where we did it is the one in uh, Marina del Rey and is the Howard Hughes, um, hangar where they used to, where they built the, the spruce goose. Oh, you're kidding. No, and Are we allowed part... to see this or is this, 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 we're not, can, everybody can see this right now? Well, okay. this one is, this one I made for them as a gift I and, see. and obviously I, I was going to sell it to them and they just yeah. thought that the whole Disney thing, you, you know, it could be something that they don't want to go through like any legal problems. Um, which I don't think it would because it was only going to be like 50 prints. But yeah. um, I made this, you know, I custom made this. I, I obviously inspired by Disney and, and did it. And I have another two on top, uh, but this is the main one. And this is the actual art on the back, only the back, not the character. Yeah. So it was only my art, as, you know, and it was a 20 feet by 15 feet uh, foot wall. So, and this was cool. I like the, I mean, at least I have it myself and it's just kind of, what I have left from that project because you can you know, do anything except for taking yeah. photos and video. We took a lot of uh, content from that, which I can't show. So no, um, I. But the, I love the thing I love about your art is like no matter where you are or where it's at, you know exactly that's yours. I mean, you're yeah. very very. <laughs> yeah, that's that's something that that it takes years to. Yes. For, more than anything, more than to for people to recognize is more for you to to Post really find your niche. Find decide what you want to do, you know, and, 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 and kind of filter everything that you learn and you inspire from. I'm going to show you this board that I have here. I'm glad you mentioned it because I've been staring at it. I was just going to ask you. So I took, uh, it's on the wall right now, but this is a, collab, a recent collaboration I did with loaded boards. They're super cool. I made also a big mural at their facility. Wow. And, and we created this unique skateboard. The silver part is almost like a, like a mirror. It's gorgeous. It yeah, it, it, it's, it's uh, metallic. Oh. So it's, it's pretty dope. And actually, so I have this here hanging, but... That's hanging here, that's for my... I'll show you a little bit so people see. I don't have a lot of things yet, but you know, we have the, the playroom with the pool, with all these things. I'm gonna fill up the wall with all the art and all that. And I have the actual board that I use. That's yours? That's mine. That's, this is a, uh, a um, 
you know, a electric board. And it's oh, no super way. Nice. Yeah. Oh, pretty- God, it's beautiful. <gasps> I usually use just, you know, uh, regular skateboards, you know, which is popsicle, like the, the, the standard stuff. But then I got that and it's pretty cool to cruise around with. Um, so that's another project. We, we just launched that. Actually, you can, you can buy it online. And also I have, I can show you. Uh, so I, yesterday I did a live uh, kind of set. Yeah, you can call it a live session on Instagram uh-huh. with, um, with my friend Anwar Layon. He's a designer from Mexico City. And, uh, and, hold on. and we, cre- we did a collaboration uh, the, the live was through uh, DesignerCon, and uh, we, you know, they, they're doing, DesignerCon is doing a bunch of activations and lives, uh, live co- content right now. Since, you know, we're in quarantine, it's, it's the perfect time. Right. And they invited me over to talk a little bit about this collaboration and also the helicopter and everything. Um, those, those guys are really good friends of us as well. And we did this, this, um, line of clothing with there they had mercedes vans fashion week in mexico city so i was able to collaborate with them and we did this beautiful wind, windbreaker yeah and that's your design yeah love it so it's pretty much similar to what you saw on the pier yeah. it's with the outline stuff yeah. gonna, and, and i'll throw it over there that's and so fun you're everywhere this turtleneck um nice well Oh my God! Nice. So it's a, a pretty, a pretty cool gorgeous. Thing. We All did like length. I think we did like um, I don't know, like eight pieces or seven pieces. I don't even remember, but we did a bunch of pieces. Um, so that's that's basically uh, different things that we we have been working, you know. And there's more things coming. If I remember something that is, oh yeah, I have a mat. A floor mat that is coming a rock it's a rock more than a floor mat it's a rock it's pretty decent size and it's basically this no way yeah so we have a rock that's gonna be this. we have the samples the colors are not um are not uh, the let me see let me see if i can show you here i think i saved the photo but this is made um the brand it's a brand uh it's called the good word and it's a brand that does a lot of accessories and t-shirts and stuff it's a good friend of mine and um so we you know eventually talking let's do something together and do something together and eventually we came up with this you really like that piece so i said oh, here it is so i said let's do it and now we're this is the sample oh my god and that's a rug yeah that's a rug Super beautiful. I love so, it. Colors didn't cut, you know, they're, they're, they're different. I like it, but I think you could, could uh, maybe, um, you know, make, make them better, brighter. Uh, so, yeah, so that's right now I'm working on that as well. Um, what else is coming up? The walls, the most, you know, the, the most, the main thing is those three walls are coming. Are those three walls in Costa Mesa, all three of them? No, LA, Costa Mesa and uh what else what else i forgot <laughs> i forgot la no and then yeah. so when the festival is happening you paint simultaneously while the festival is going on yes mm. i think so i think that this one's i never been the, so the walls are two walls are in la no okay no i'm sorry costa mesa irvine costa mesa and Los Angeles. Nice. Sorry, I got my head off. And uh, one, one, festivals? The festivals are in uh, Montreal. One of them is in Montreal. And the other one is in um, uh, Capital State. What is it? Um, Washington? No, no, no. Here in California. What's the... Sacramento? Sacramento. Mm. Sacramento. So we're working on that one. And I'm also trying to go to, uh, to Atlanta. We have a show in Atlanta that we're gonna do just one piece show uh, with the people from ABB. But um, we'll, um, we're talking about going there to do a mural. I have, I, I've been there for another project. I never done a mural. 
So I want to do a mural there. So we'll we'll see. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the I know the dates for the show were moved. I have no idea what's gonna go, what's gonna wow. what's gonna happen with the murals. But yeah, so you know the shows usually if you're in a festival, they are doing the festival, and then at the end you there's a party, and then you you get to go to the party and all that. That's so amazing. Do you ever get tired of doing murals? Because they're a lot of work. Or you no, because you don't do them every day. So mm -hmm. listen, I did. I uh, did also, oh, I don't have it here, oh, shit. So I had this this other print that I have from, uh, I did a collaboration. I was the, the artist chosen for the 50th anniversary for uh, for Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. And um, I have the, the graphic here somewhere. Um, and uh, so we did that and we we painted, you know, we know what Woodward is? Yes. The skate parks, okay. So we did all the Woodwards in the States and in a month, we did six murals. No way. So we were we were jumping. This is the the wow. I have, and then um, the murals are right here. Yeah. So we did six. So I mean, I was exhausted. I it bet. was pretty damn crazy, and they were pretty big as well. So you can. Oh wow. You can see you can see all this in my Instagram. It's huge. They're huge. Yeah. Wow, they're huge and probably long, huh? Because you got to do all the whole sides. This one is that was the biggest one. That's like actually a uh, a That's a so thing and all that. This is like and then you know we were in Colorado, um, Lake Tahoe. It was and it was it was the summer, but still it was super cold because over there there's no summer. Oh. They had that's snow. As far as I know, when I went there, there was still snow. Really? Amazing. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. So we did that as well, and that's one of the the most challenging things I've done because we were back to back. And I like to just a lot of times when I travel, I don't like to go just hang around. You know, mm -hmm. I just I'm tired. I just yeah. go there. I enjoy my process, mm -hmm. and the project mm -hmm. alone is just amazing. So that I don't need to be doing extra days, or I used to not anymore. Back in the day, I used to do that. I used to go. I went to Europe and did a couple shows. And within those shows, I had like a couple of weeks free. So we, we got to travel all over Europe, but, but that's just a special case and you're over there. So you might as well go look around. But here I would just, then I would just like finish yeah. four days, finish, travel, next location. Dun, 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 same thing, same thing over and over and over for an entire month. Mm. So, and we squeezed in five murals and then we went back and did another one. Wow, that's amazing. So you have a full year ahead of you with the festivals, with the beer, with the carpet, yeah. with the speakeasy. Yeah, we, and the yeah, we also have a, this new, one of the things I'm most excited about right now is a festival with EDC. So I was hired to do a, to develop and design and, and kind of create ideas uh, for experiential, um, you know, um, things for, you know, for, uh, for attendees that go to the fest and, uh, like an installation or, or an art thing or, or something where you can go in and, and experience, uh, a different type of, uh, of way of, of listening to music and actually going through and actually look at visuals, you know, wow. and, uh, and also spaces. So right now we're in the, in the phase of designing, uh, the logo is done. Uh, we're doing more, a little more of the theme colors. Where is that going to be? That's that's supposed to be in Miami and LA. I can't say much about it. But I can't say the name. Show? What's that? It'll be a traveling show. Not a traveling show. It's just, it's 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 a music fest. Oh, it's a music fest. I you see. Know, like, like EDC, like you yeah. know. I got it. I understand. Same I thing. Be... Not same thing, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Another type of music and other is this year or next year i don't know i have no idea what's going to happen it's supposed to be this year the first one and 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 you know like i said because of uh you know contract reasons i can't say what it is but uh it's very cool it's one of the the coolest things i've done so and i hope it gets developed because we've been working on it and and yeah. it's it's just something for for uh something new you know mm -hmm. So you're a true entrepreneur because you literally have your fingers in everything. 
Yes, I am an entrepreneur. I've been like this since I'm a kid. Okay. So the art just, I, can, I think the art came after. Mm. You know, I mean, I've been drawing and painting since I'm a kid. My dad, um, it, it's just a funny story because my dad gathers all my stuff since I'm a kid. I have drawings on, on napkins and, since 1989. Wow. Or before, before that, my dad saved them and framed them and he has them. And so I've been doing, you know, the, the creative part I always have had, but um, the, the business back then was more because it was more business. I wasn't a professional, obviously. I was a kid and, and a teenager. So I was doing more um, serious entrepreneurship projects than, than art. And yeah. then it became, you know, the art became part of it. And I'm still doing the, both of them. So Beautiful. yeah, I love both of them. I love it. It's merge. Yeah, the business side of it, I like. I think it, it helped me a lot as an artist. That's helped, you know, helped me in business. Yeah. And, and, and to find my way and to, you know, manage it better. You know, we're artists at the end of the day and we, we always are rec reckless, and, you know, so yeah. we do crazy shit and we're crazy, but it helps a little bit. It does. When you have kind of like this, uh, this still this, this side where you feel like you know how to just find your own niche without, because there's people that only know how to be creative and don't know anything about the business part, which then that's really hard to put yourself out there. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, uh, yeah you got to. You got to, I mean, and also not, you know, again, we're all different, but, but we're sensitive, right? We're like, we're more, um, you know, ready to, to explode or, or cry or like, or, or love or, you know, we're just, it's, it's, <laughs> we're just weird. So uh, it helps to have a little balance, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Teddy, thank you so much. This was oh, no worries. so, I'm so uh, honored that I was able to pick your brain. This is very inspirational. And you know, oh, this is about, um, you know, kind of like helping people kind of uh, find some certain ideas maybe while they're in quarantine, not knowing at, at all what to do with their lives because yeah. they have not really found their voice or they're trying to find their voice or they have their ideas but don't know how to really, uh, you know, give birth to them. So we also created hashtags like create, uh, hashtag create hope and hashtag creating hope where people can sort of, hopefully find some sort of unity in the solidarity that we're kind of forced into. Yeah, no, no, it's a pleasure. I'm, I'm always uh, pro helping people and, and, and just sharing. And I feel, you know, it's, it's sad. You know, there's a lot of depression out there. There's a lot of like uh, misinformation and, and, and a lot of things that sometimes we don't get the help or, or we're not, uh, uh, you know, in, in the right spot so we can, we can get, other people's, you know, support and, and you know, it's, it's hard. Life is hard in general. So the more that we can help and, and inspire others as I was inspired, um, I mean, it's, I'm all for it. So thanks yeah. for inviting me. Yes, thank you. And all the way from Mexico. You're in Mexico right now. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And please keep us posted on all your wonderful things that you're doing and I'll keep posting them too when you have your, your all totally. these wonderful stories. Totally. We'll stay in touch. Yes. Amazing. Thank you so Love much. It. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Cool. Yeah.